All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, presenting the challenger, Magic Man. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC wins here the last. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody can take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Big punch man goes to the top. I'll do the ball Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. That'll quiet the storm shot blocked by Lee.
just misses with the left hook. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Couple of chins here being tested early. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Superman punch now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of Ames. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm gonna shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Lee's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Pretty good right hand. him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Beautiful left hand counter. Just missed with the left there. Nice kick. One, two there by Lee. Just misses with a left hook there. Way to hide that leg kick. Good stick. Right hand upstairs. Oh, clinch position. Watch the keys. The elbows come now. Missed with that attempt. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. <laughs> Lee going for the body, missed with that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick lands. advantage as he landed the jab there. Effective punch there by Lee. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Dig and kick. He is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Just misses with the right. Body now. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Nice straight punch. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Oh, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight idea. 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Out of range with that one. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Try to establish that jab. Oh, huge block! Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Look at how he's turned his hip into that leg kick. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Another leg kick lands. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Good. Back and forth we go. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside to try to find space. Just misses with the straight left hand. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Just misses there with the left. Nice counter left hook to the head. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He's got him with his hip in that kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Slips that left hand. Beautiful punch. Just missed with the straight left hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice right hand. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Big body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to... Let's see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. A little single collar tie there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Slips the punch. Oh, big punch, man. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Good defense to block the strike coming back. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. 
You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep doing it. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness of the ball. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Unable to connect with the right hander. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's high, and now he's got a good bag. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big body kick lands. Wow, nice job to land the knee to the body. Man, I wish I was in touch. Oh, he lands the flying knee. That's a big frame to navigate in the octagon. No issues finding the target there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? What a tricky head kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Right hand upstairs. Another big shot to the head. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. to go in round three. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds the knockout. Oh, he heard a bad with a jab. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Good punch land. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, is gonna shut your body off. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he continues to do a nice shot here defensively, protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the bars. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Big punch land for the Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these guys. Check these kicks, or you're going to be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Big kick. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. What a body kick. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. And he lands a big left hand there. There may be even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. Let's see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It helps you. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strap around their waist. It's amazing. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Such a fast leg kick. Checks the leg kick. It's real oh, 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 DC. He massive, massive hook lands. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he might be out. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's more blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful hand skills here, the right and the left. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Liver kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. The lead gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Big kick land. Not there. Powerful leg kick land. Into the 
the final minute of this championship fight. Nice punch, man. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice right hand, John. That was a good leg kick. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Back mount now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 20 minutes down. Potentially five to go. All right, well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you got to think at some point the doctor's going to get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is going to be stopped. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Final round, you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Came with inches right there, boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. What a punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Came of inches right there, boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Head kick. Connects with a right. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right under the elbow. The body kick land. Nice. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he got a bad! Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Lee's back in half goal. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. And they separate. And a miss with the right hook. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, big head kick. Nice move and punch. Nice leg kick there by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with the right hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job. Back to the feet. Oh! Oh! He's out! Wow! That was nasty! Yeah, man, crowd love 
building it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.